Dear IGP, the Inspector General of Police, Rwanda, uh, leaders here present all protocol observed. It is my pleasure to officiate the closing of this year's symposium on peace, security, and justice under the theme fostering govern good governance for peace and security in Africa. During this symposium, it must have come out clear that governance is an important factor for peace and stability, and that this concept remain complementary, integrated, interdependent, and are mutually reinforcing imperative for sustainable development in Africa and elsewhere in the world. In different African countries, persistent conflicts are customarily associated with poor governance, which fails to address the basic human security needs, root causes of conflict like marginalization, equal access to opportunities and resources, inclusiveness and equal protection by the laws, to mention but a few. In addition to these internal drivers of conflict, the failure for some countries to identify what they stand for in terms of values and national interest has led them to succumb to the pressure of external powers which attempt to generalize the standards and indicators of what they consider to be good governance to the rest of the world, regardless of the individual con country context. In the same line of argument, good governance, especially in Africa, is also handled by external political influence and formalized by, formalized by exploitation, which in the case of resistance is achieved through the fueling of intergroup conflict. Furthermore, Talking about good governance, one cannot disregard the significant role played by the media in the shaping of strengthening and strengthening good governance in our respective countries. The malicious man man manipulation or unprofessional use of increased social media platforms in the media may be used to undermine the governance, government achievement, and di divert public attention to a de destructive sense. Hence, become a hindrance to stability and the social order among the citizens. On the other hand, media as the first power has always been considered as a tool for promotion of good governance and the way it is well regulated, it becomes a tool for citizens' advocacy, participation, transparency, and the government accountability, which are important elements of good governance. In thinking of a peaceful and secure Africa, there is always a compelling need to address governance-related root causes of conflict in order to effectively foster sustainable peace and security as a route to lasting development on the continent by first enhancing human security centered governance, secondly, promoting and controlling professional media platforms, third, establishing capable and accountable public institutions, including the security organs. First, building strong and fair judicial systems that are responsive to the citizens' needs. Considering the selected topics and the nature of interactions held in this platform, I want to believe that this symposium responded to the above identified need. I'm convinced that engaging police, senior command and staff course students 
and the other participants from 12 different nationalities into this discussion is a better way to raise the number of strategic leaders with the ability to contribute to good governance and stable society in their respective countries. Based on that profile of the panelists, uh, as I see here, the eminent professors from different uh, uh, countries, I recall my friend Professor Mumba uh, and the others, I have no doubt that this has been an opportunity to share appropriate tools and strategies for promotion of good governance as for peace and stable Africa. On this note, I declare this symposium officially closed. I thank you for your kind attention. But having said you are still in Rwanda, there's many more opportunities, even here in Musa and Zay, in Ichigari. Before going back home, you can have another additional days to see achievement that has been made by His Excellency Paul Kagame and the leadership of Rwanda and the people of Rwanda, and to go back with the other additional messages from people of Rwanda. Thank you very much, and wish you all the best.